everybody. I want to wheeze them here at 1.43 a.m. early Thursday morning. We just took Jingle Bell Chompy Mage. Keep on to say Chompy Mage. Uh, through his base upgrades here. And ultimately, <clears throat> I would like to take Jingle Bell Chompy Mage. By the way, do you hear that? It's the new air conditioner. I don't think you do. And it's putting out cold air. That's something that hasn't happened in a really long time. And I've got to say... It's pretty fabulous. Uh, but anyway, Champ of Chomp. This is what I want for Jingle Bell Chompy Mage. I've gone over my logic. It seems like he's giving gifts. Uh, that ties in with Santa. He looks like Santa. It just, it makes sense. Plus down here for Standard Chompy Mage, Master Puppeteer. The aesthetics of it, being greenery, shrubs, whatever they want to call them. It just goes together. Goes together better, in my opinion, in that order. Sadly, I do not have standard Chompy Mage for the same reasons I discussed in the base upgrade video. So, uh, what I'm going to do here, since I don't know when it will even be released, or if it will be released, I certainly hope it is at some point, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take Master Puppeteer, and then we will reset Jingle Bell Chompy Mage, and I'll take him down the Champ of Chomp. So, Master Puppeteer it is. This is upgrading Talk to the Hand. We'll go ahead and select it, and uh, we're going to get started here with Get Thee to a Shrubbery. Acorns now sprout poisonous shrubbery. So, before we get started, uh, just in case you skipped the base video, let's check this out. Talk the Hen does 34 to 51, then we're going to spit three acorns. The three acorns do 4 to 6 on impact, and then they explode at 6 to 9. Uh, nothing real fancy, no significant knockback, nothing like that. Uh, and I was looking at car parts so while that video rendered, so let me get to my spreadsheet. And here we go. Uh, wasn't a great showing there, but if I could just position this guy. I need you back over here, buddy. Come on. You can do it. There we go. All right. Now, talk to the hand itself does actually do knock back. There you sort of see it i'm just taking my word for it that's what happens okay so i'll let this little warrior uh it looks like he's wearing acorn hats actually what does all this mean don't ask me i'm just a puppet great dialogue uh so here we are we've discussed it 1700 the acorns now will sprout poisonous shrubbery again i personally have high hopes for this path i'm thinking it could turn out to be the better path even though it's a less flashy and most likely by a significant margin the least selected path. Don't know that for sure because I haven't taken either one of them. Uh, but uh, I've, I've, got, I've got a good feeling about this one. So, uh, let's come. I so, so much prefer being downstairs for a lot of this stuff. But uh, let's see what the acorns do now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Again, very, very reminiscent of shotgun farmers, I gotta say. So. I'd say that runs for like seven seconds. So what I'm gonna word this as is acorns spawn... They look like weeds, really, shrubs that grow for seven seconds now in my worst nightmare this shrub is going to do seven ticks of damage all at different intervals in the best case scenario it just does seven ticks of damage at a uniform number but i could easily see it like starting out at one to two and then two to four and then six to nine uh and then eight to twelve you know <laughs> type of a thing so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then get the dummy, and he should be right there. And this would work so much better downstairs, folks. So, that's actually where I'm going to go. Um, it's just, I think, going to be better in the long run for us, so... Uh, it's not the most efficient thing to do, but it's one of those deals. I was only in the academy because I wanted to showcase the Sky Chi. <laughs> so, uh, but it looks like we were getting really good damage numbers out of those things. I mean, not 6 to 9, that's not going to impress anybody. But again, it's the collective assessment uh, you've got to consider when you're evaluating this stuff. Mm-hmm. 
I'm also apparently losing my voice since we just did the bass upgrades a few seconds ago. So uh, I'd like to thank the peanut butter M&Ms for that, I suppose. <laughs> Let's uh, merrily we go along. Let's uh, check this thing out. Perfect placement. Okay, so there's nothing special for the explosion. Uh, let's see if we can get another one and I can try to count, maybe. That's really annoying, the way it was placed. <laughs> Did I count 11 there? I'm not sure. Yes! I so wish I could control this thing and the placement of the acorns a little bit better. Like that's not what I want at all. Uh, apparently you can have a lot of these. Well, I guess they'll time out on their own type of thing. Yeah, that's going to be worth noting. I'm trying to get just like one plant. Was that tin? I think I got 11 or 12 that time. All right, this is pretty annoying. <laughs> the problem I've got is he like turns. I've got him positioned where I want him to be, and then he like turns a little bit and it skews the placement. So let's try it this way. Of course, that's gonna work beautifully. Okay, it's so a little higher. Got 13 that time. Let's try it again. All right. Eleven that time. Wonderful. Thirteen. This is just ridiculous to position. That was so close to being a nice hand that we dealt. I was like, what, what was that? Like 15? Come on. Tin? I mean, what is it? Is it tin? Is it 15? Is it something in between? I don't know. Oh, please, if you'd have just been, like, a shade closer. Got 11 that time, but I think I was counting before the shrub. So, I'm gonna wait until I see, like, the ring of green. Alright, well, you know what? <laughs> Grow for seven seconds. Do six to nine. I'm just gonna put ten to fifteen times. Hey, I mean, what what can you do, right? Um, I'm gonna, in parentheses, put 11x most frequent. That's just supremely annoying. I feel like upstairs you might have a better time with it but the problem you've got there is the dummy is not idly is not stationary he's going to move about and that's going to cause issues there as well so i mean you've seen it you can take from it what you will there is an issue maybe sometimes we're counting like you know four to six on impact and then the six to nine but um somewhere in the 10 to 15 range we'll just leave it at that uh, what does all this mean? I don't know what it all means, man. It's confusing, but it is very impressive 
uh, thus far. So here lies a Chompy. Chompies now leave behind shrubbery. This will actually be pretty significant. Uh, so your primary attack, you can have basically six of them at a time. I'm assuming now when he terminates right then. Okay, he was just out of range, but it looks like it's going to be the same setup that we had. So maybe I can get this guy to do it. No, he'll just backfire. Wonderful. Was that 13? That was absolutely beautiful. Let me... Fight 2. Terminate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... 11, I think? Terminate, my friend. Closer to the dummy. Twelve. He explodes right before it happens. So there's our thirteen. Two bites. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay, so here lies a chompy. Chompies. Uh, leave shrubs that do six to nine. We want to put 12. Let's go with whatever this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. Okay, eleven it is. Uh, they do eleven X again. In my previous entry, I said eleven X was the most frequent. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. But man, that worked out so much better than just spitting these. Well, the acorns aren't stupid, but imagine that. Like, let's get this going. I mean, you can start to get a feel for how you could set this up and just be a god on the battlefield. Basically. Um, I know this doesn't seem impressive to people, but you've got to think about this in the broader scope, the bigger picture. This path is going to be pretty insane. I know the numbers aren't there. They're not impressive at all. But collectively, what you can do with this and the defensives you can set up, it's very appealing to me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really much of a <laughs> all right, guy. so uh, one more to go here. It is Shrub Splude. And this will probably make or break this for you. Some of you might be like, you know what? He's right. This is really impressive. But those numbers are so weak, and I prefer the bazooka or the chomp zooka or the, you know, whatever it is on the top path. It might be phenomenal. If this has significant damage, even if this is just like a 20 to a 30, this is going to be very big. Shrubs now explode. You win shrub, you lose shrub. I'm assuming they all explode, uh, but who knows? So the way I want to test this out is actually with a chompy because that's just so much more efficient and it's a singular entry instead of having three by way of the acorns which could skew things. So will we be six to nine still? Yes. What was that about? We like doubled our numbers. <laughs> there was only one chompy the numbers were doubled and then it looks like the explosion was maybe 45 and then there were still two ticks of damage so I want to see this again was it just a freak deal this one's like spot on okay I'm getting 20 hits now collectively uh, so there's our impact bite one he's a little he's a straggler two Interesting. <laughs> so Shrub Splode, let's keep this simple. We're going to call Shrub Splode 45 to 68. Now here's what you've got to keep in mind. When you start doing that, 
Look at these numbers firing off in the fashion that they are. And then when that explodes, it's just massive detonation, and then we still got that. So then you come in, you set up your defenses in front of you and behind you, and then you're spamming this. Or you could even go into the staff, and you could start firing that off. And then you can enter this, and you can dash around for a little bit extra speed. There's so many things this man can do in this configuration. It's honestly pretty scary. Um, I'm very impressed by this bad boy. Now, what I want to do, though, is let's go ahead and log this, man. Let's now pay attention to exactly how many instances of damage we're doing. So we're going to impact still at 45 to 68. It's a little disappointing that never increased. Same with the Chompy attack, 13 to 22 times. Then the magic starts with the shrub. We're doing 6 to 9, but instead of doing it the 11 times, so many of these numbers are now doubled. So you've got 6 to 9 still, but instead of seeing a singular rise as you count to 11 hits, you're going to see off to the left-hand side another set of numbers for the majority of the hits, which is going to breach upwards of 20. So check this out. Impact. Bite 1. Termination. There's 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22! That was 22 instances at 6 to 9, not counting the explosion, which would be a 23rd. So it's not every single one of them that overlaps with two hits, but the vast majority on the insides do, and then at the end they're just like this straggling bonus damage. So let's do it one more time for you. Bite 1, termination... 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22. Epic. So, uh, this, this is it. 45 to 68 explosion. And now the plants do, uh, shrubs do, 6 to 9, 22 times. That is not advertised. Like, if you just come in and most people, what does this upgrade do? And they're going to be like, if they even give you the numbers, it's going to be like, yeah, it explodes and it does 45 to 68. There's a huge difference, okay? If we're doing 6 to 9 11 times, that's 66 to 99. That's significant for just having fired something off or having acorns grow plants effortlessly for you. 66 to 99. Now, when we go from 11 to 22 we're doubling that all right same thing nothing has changed still six to nine but we're doing double the damage by way of doing it twice as frequent so 66 in that scenario becomes 132 99 doubled is going to be 198 132 to 198 is what you're doing just from the shrub then then to your 132 to 198, you're going to need to tack on 45 to 68 by way of the explosion. And you have to sit here and think, will you ever really just have that one instance? Or will you have some combination of things like this? Or you've just got complete chaos on the screen. Uh, I mean, I can't tell you how how OP this is going to be. It does not seem like that right now for many of you. It just looks like, no, it's stupid, it's not 100 or 200 or, you know, it's a lame, 6 to 9. I'm telling you right now, I've played this game for 6 years. This path is going to be amazing in the game. PvP, I think you could wreak havoc on people, but you would probably be slaughtered. Uh, by someone that's, you know, potent. Like if we got a Slam Bam in here, if we had a Drobot, a Stealth Elf, you're probably going to get destroyed. Unless, and I have not been able to test this, but if this, like, makes you immune to damage or nerfs the damage, if, if you picture this, okay. So, uh, we come in here, and I do a couple rounds of this to build up my defenses, and then I fire off some Chompies to do their thing, and then if I'm invincible right here... He could stand up a little bit better. Now, I don't know that he will be immune to damage there. He could be. If he is, it makes it significantly better. I will say he would be destroyed uh, with this path in PvP. Provided you're up against good competition that knows what they're doing with their selected Skylander. But, I think you could, in some scenarios, uh, give people trouble. But in-game, if that's your concern, is in-game... <laughs> 
this is going to be awesome. It's truly going to be a fantastic path. So, uh, what we've got left is the Soul Gym, and I'm excited to see it. <laughs> Chompy is to go, please. I think this will work really well with the Top Path as well. Uh, top Path, again, is actually called the Champ of Chomp. So, uh, jump, then press Y while in the air to break the Chompy pile up into individual minions. Hmm. So jump and then press Y. And I don't know if you have to already be in, you know, your tertiary attack, the chompy pile. Um, we'll find out. Let's pick it up. So, here we go. We're just going to jump and press Y like they tell me to. Oh, it works. And, okay. So, yes, this is ultra beneficial down this path because you've got the shrubs going uh, so let's try to get a count on exactly what we've got basically instead of you having to fire the bazooka five times the chomp bazooka i should say we just do this and we get one two three four five six is that right can i have that multiple times no, but as soon as I spawn some in, the others terminate. And in this case, they terminate into plants, which is oh so freaking amazing. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah. We're going to do some damage to this bad boy, aren't we? <laughs> so, uh, one, two, three. I'm counting. It's consistently three out the back, three out the front. So, six chompies. Oh, buddy. This is uh this is pretty good right here. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, that's that's pretty pretty legit, so uh spawn six chompies at once. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Did that impact our standard tertiary? No, we're still doing fifty-four if I dash. We're still doing sixty-seven. So, uh, did it change anything in terms of bailing from the attack? Nope, still 84 and 28. So, this man has kept these numbers virtually ever since he first acquired them. There's never really been an increase to anything that we've done aside from with uh, our tertiary attack. Uh, staff shot, is it still doing the same damage numbers? It is. So... That front is, yeah, it's kind of sad. I'm not going to lie about that. But again, with Master Puppeteer, it is going to be the collective damage that the Chompies can inflict coupled with the shrubbery that then explodes. And like I said, Skyline. I think it's going to be a really good in-game path. So uh, I'll leave it to that. On the Soul Gym, I'm just going to use spawn six Chompies at once because I'm thinking the damage output will be different uh, for the Champ of Chomp versus Master Puppeteer. Now, why am I back in here? Well, same reason I came in the last video, strictly to showcase the Sky Chi. If I'm not mistaken, this is 78 to 117. I absolutely love it. It is uh, Boing Zooka, basically you hold down right trigger, and he uses the Chomp Zooka as a pogo stick, and it's quite impressive. So, uh, here we are. We're going to trigger it. I'm chopping at the bit for Sky Chi! That was a 168 at the beginning, I guess. Oh, you like that, Chompy Puppet? You know it! <laughs> and that's that, man. That is Master Puppeteer again. I think most people are going to be like, oh, man, you know, that's, that's so lame. That's not cool. Uh, particularly if the Champ of Chomp is impressive or adds more humor to the character. But I got to tell you, in-game, this path, if you take it, you will not be disappointed. You will be amazed what you can do with it. Even at 69, I will admit it would have been nice if, as we progress through three upgrades focusing solely on our secondary attack abilities, basically the acorns and shrubs, if we could have seen some increase there, even, I mean, we're still doing 34 to 51, right? I don't guess I've checked that. Yeah. Uh, every number is the same as it was. And that's disappointing. 
the case in point there, you wouldn't think that that 6 to 9 and 4 to 6s would have done that, and it just wasted the dummy. Uh, they typically have health somewhere, what, like 2 to 300 plus or so? So, I gotta say, uh, I'm pretty happy with this path. Again, I do think personally that it suits the aesthetics of standard Chompy Mage the best. Uh, I don't have him for the reasons I've discussed. If I get him, we will unbox him, we'll introduce him, we will fully upgrade him probably all in one whack, and I'll just take him down Master Puppeteers or recap for you. Um, but for what it's worth, I'm going to reset Jingle Bell Chompy Mage. We're going to take the Champ of Chomp. We're going to see how we like it, and I do think it suits this character better anyway. Uh, and it might turn out to be a fantastic path. I don't know until I take it, but uh, this is one of those ones that I think a lot of people will write off, particularly if the Champ of Chomp is really good. Then that's going to make you even less inclined to pursue Master Puppeteer, but uh, I can't tell you. Uh, give it a go. If you're bored, if you've got two Jingle Bell Chompy Mages, uh, maybe a grand grandparents or parents caught you duplicate somehow at Christmas or your birthday, whatever it may be. Take one down, Master Puppeteer, and see how you like that in-game. So uh, that's where I will leave things here. But uh, oneaweasem.com is a personal website. Skylanderclub.com is a forum. As soon as things slow down in my personal life, I will actually be posting the spreadsheet uh, and making nice, comprehensive uh, posts for each and every character in Skylanders Imaginators. It'll hopefully help you out. Uh, so be sure to check that out, SkylanderClub.com. Again, I created the site. I run the site. I made it for portal matchers like yourself. Check, check it out. Take advantage of it. Sign up. I'll be glad to have you. If you've signed up and your account isn't active, just hit me up either in the comment section or on Twitter, and I'll try to get in there and do so. Um, that said, make sure you're following me on Mixer. I might have to stream this stuff on Twitch, which I'm trying to get away from Twitch. I'm not too happy with some of the things they've done. Uh, but Mixer, as best I know, still doesn't have a direct export to YouTube, and that's kind of what I need uh, when I live stream, you know, Thumpin' Woompa Island, Curse Tiki Temple, etc. But uh, nonetheless, if you follow me on Twitter, if I go live, I will tweet. You should know where I'm at. Uh, nonetheless, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to come in now. Uh, reset Jingle Bell Chompy Mage, reset Chain Reaction, get money for Chain Reaction and Jingle Bell Chompy Mage at the same time to maximize my time investment, and then come in and take Chain Reaction uh, down his other path so we can showcase it. But, uh, that said, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you back here for the next installment of Skylanders Research. Adios.